Did we see what game one was? Actually, I missed it. No, I missed I it. It's all good. All so right, we're going go to PS2. Yep. Uh, I think this is probably about even between these two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I could pro uh, like Falco's combos don't care who they're fighting, and like Link is just gonna take more of them because he's heavier. But at the same time, like he is still a keep away character. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh boy. Eighty-eight percent. Now we should like when I've seen Steelix play, he used to play Robin sort of like this. He was like a combo-heavy Robin player, mm -hmm. like very aggressive. Wow. So that was such a good bomb jump. Oh my. But he, yeah, uh, I love that. Just get a above him so that you can maybe get it back down to the ground. And this situation might not seem that, like, this is pretty dangerous for Steelix, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Falco is not a super heavy character and Link hits. He's the hero of pow courage. He's got all the Triforce in there at some point, so power is definitely something that he doesn't have a problem with. Oh, dropping shield at the last second. Maybe he wanted a parry, but regardless, that's going to be his first stock down. Steelix looking pretty good. I'm wondering, though, if... Because he... Now that he has a stock lead, he can play differently. All right, starting to throw more lasers. I like that. Just because French... After, you saw that immediately after that sort of stock happened to him, he started to actually play more, throw more projectiles, even though he wasn't in the lead anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think part of that's like Ooh. going back to your comfort zone, the safety. What a, that angle was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, and okay, I'm liking the reflector stuff. This is that's something I it, that's worth me, no really noting. Uh, although, as you can see, the reflector does not necessarily cover all the space in front of him. Okay. All right, getting hit by the back hot, the back hit of the up tilt. Didn't build a lot of damage, so the lead really wasn't a factor. Was able to keep away, and uh, now is in a bit of a damage lead now. Uh, Link weighs significantly more than Falco. Those hollow bones uh, and the heavy equipment, you know. All right, now one thing we, I was, let's see how this edge guard can go, because that's something that Falco definitely struggles with more than Link. His recovery off stage can be super interceptable. What a tech though. He's still off stage and I don't think he has a jump. What a, oh, is he gonna get hit? Oh, and he misses the tech. If he had gotten that tech, that would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. But in the end, it ended up being just an amazing edge guard for French Tutor as he now, despite Losing his first stock pretty convincingly, he has a real lead here. Only 39%, yeah. and he's dishing damage out. Okay. He's dead. Ooh. Oh, and he angles it so he doesn't hit him on the way back up. And this is an even game. Completely neck neck. turning it around. Yeah, I was saying how Falco is the character with the uh, yeah. limited recovery, but... I mean, it's Link. Yeah, Link so. without a jump is... Like, once Link is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took away his air. And even then, it wasn't that great. All right, I'm I'm starting to question your statement earlier about whether PS2 doesn't affect these combos. That platform extension was really nice. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely like he's just gonna get hit by that stuff. Oh, you know, yeah. like he's a heavy character, he's gonna just be going in on it. Yeah, like every stage, Link is just gonna get flung mm -hmm. on. Wow, that parry was so good, but the positioning for that forward air punish was just not there. Ooh. And he gets the down air. Amazing timing from French Tutor. Despite that snoop, that super sneaky angle, he had no problem getting that sweet spot and closing out the game. I'm wondering what adjustment Steelix needs to make here. Because he started off really well, and he was even doing all right near the end, but it felt just the, there was this war of attrition that was going on that just overall favored French Tutor. So maybe a stage with less room. Uh, it seems that Battlefield and Smashville were banned. Yep. Maybe if it, we might see either Unova or uh, Yoshi's, if I had to guess. Although it seems that, <laughs> okay, Celix is taking his time to think about it. Realizes that this counter pick on stage will probably, will matter a lot in the matchup. All right, we're going to going, town. All right, interesting. So there is actually a lot of room on this stage, but at the same time, those platforms might help him uh, 
come in from different angles of attack. You know, a character, as we saw, there were tons of times that French Tutor was throwing out. Oh, oh it's that's coming why. out. All right, that's why. So uh, that, that sort of moment of contemplation was not for the stage, but actually for the character. And this is what I normally know him for. Uh, he does play male Robin, which is like weird and gross. Thunder, L Thunder, Arc Fire. Yeah. Don't don't you use that tone of voice with me, young man. <laughs> All right, now here's something that is very different where the ledge trapping from Robin is going to be so much more potent. Like that's where a lot of the big damage is probably going to be done to the point where let's not forget about Link Bomb Jump, which basically lets him bypass the ledge. Um, so at higher percents, he might at least get the, uh, you know, just... A, not have to deal with arc fire at ledge because you can just you know bomb jump all the way over it. Oh, cool combos! Bad the invincibility on that tech though, really well timed from Steelix. And oh, that forward is just so powerful. Oh, that's big! Oh, he's gonna get caught wow. on that. That was such a smart up B. Not enough to close out the stock, but that's good damage and decent stage control. Sets up for that forward air just a moment later. And now French Tutor once again has a strong lead, I'd say. Yeah, he's definitely, uh, he's doing a really good job of building up this percent uh, before no his stock still. goes, if it goes. He still Ooh. has no jump. He might run out of uh, the Hellwind soon. Yeah, uh, he's, I, he's, I missed, he needs a lot of time to get that there. back. Okay. Me. It might have been honestly worth it that after he took that stock to exhaust it with his up B. Yeah. Oh my! Yeah. He, uh, see if like actually it's exactly what I said. Yeah, that was. If he had just exhausted his up B after he took the stock, he would have been actually in a far better situation. But now, French Shooter with a full stock lead with Steelix on his last. Oh yeah, he's trying to go for these sort of bigger combos. He needs it at this point. Yeah. Uh, that also means that he's probably going to be missing more of them. Uh, the consistency <laughs> is gonna well, no, just like you know, consistency yeah. is gonna go yeah. down because he needs to be making big plays. Right, I'm liking this approach from French Tutor. He's taking much more of a passive role here, realizing that chip damage is chip damage is when uh, still is on his last stock. But now he's trapped on ledge. Oh, wow, and he actually extends the hitbox from hitting the bomb. That was French Tutor basically sending, setting his own death sentence right there. Oh, this could be big. Oh, this is the big combos. Ah, uh, couldn't get too much off of it, but. Yeah, double arc fire. Gonna do an, a modest amount of damage. Okay. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah. Oh. French Tutor is actually going super aggressive right now. He wants to get this stock. He's throwing out a lot of these forward airs, and that might not be the super easiest thing for Steelix to deal with. Oh my god, I think Bomb saved his life there. Possible, yeah. <laughs> he might have gotten hit by that, actually. Oh, the, both of these two hits, he almost has him. Both of these guys are in the red. Both of these guys can die at any second now. Weak Nair is not enough. Ooh. Ah, he had no Thunder Sword, so that wasn't enough to do it either. Bomb still. Was that get up attack into the bomb? Yes. Fantastic. He has no invincibility. This should be it. And he gets the down smash. Steelix, after losing a super early stock from that up B game, now he's back in control, setting it even with 1-1. Well, wow, that was actually, that was a nail biter, and you could really see it. You can, like, look at French Tutor's expression there. Mm -hmm. the, the, it was all building up, and now, as when you're French Tutor, when you're that person who almost had the set, and you've just got to realize, okay, yeah, that was a nail biter, but I did it game one, I almost did it game two, just remain calm. It can be really tricky, but it's going to be absolutely pivotal, especially when playing against a character like Robin, who can just... Ooh, the error, 404. Thank you for some... Thanks, Red X. Out. Much love. Yeah, anyway, Robin <laughs> punishes people super hard. That's what I was getting to at the end there. Robin. Three, two, one, go! 
All right, going back to Pokemon Stadium 2, uh, I can agree with this. Those platforms seem to work out much better for Link. As you can see, because his projectiles have so many angles of, uh, like, pressuring the opponent. Not to mention, this is actually the first time they're here with this matchup. Yeah, no, game one was Falco versus Link. Yeah. And that, as we really saw, totally different. Totally different matchup. Totally different nature of strengths and weaknesses. French probably, you know, he recognizes that, so he does have to, he can't just rely on what worked for him in game one on this stage. Another thing, both these guys have really good item play just because of their characters. Link, of course, has his bombs, and Robin, all of their tomes become throwable once she uses them. So, when these guys pick up the opponent's item, you know that they're actually going to be able to do cool things with them. That was pretty cool, mm -hmm. too. One thing that I really like from French Tutor, he's focusing more on the ledge trapping aspect now. Oh, actually able to get a reset off of that item. Oh, there's no more, there are no more arc fires. And he goes down to a link forward air. That should be it. Yeah, up smash gonna connect. Steelix not letting his opponent get any room to pull away with a lead. That was 43%. Oh, never mind. 48%. At the low percents, these guys just hit each other so hard. This is game three, and this is the most neck and neck we've seen them so far. Every other game, there's been like really, in the end, it ends up being close, but. It's always been like a yeah. slaughter one way or the other for at least a while. It's like, I'm going to body you. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to body you. Oh, my God, he completely dodged Think it. About that. Oh, that, he wanted to go for some type of grab confirm. I guess if that had connected to the up air or the forward air, that might have killed. But that was a really big mistake that French Tutor honestly didn't suffer that much for. However, <laughs> it might have been a delayed like punish, but... He got there nonetheless. Steelix now has the stock lead. I feel like this is the first time he's had a stock lead going into the last stock. Oh, and Nosferatu are going to be healing for tons of damage. Yeah. Once he's like over 70, 80%, it's like, come over here. Not only that, like, notice how he went for a back throw just for damage. He realizes that, like, okay, if I just get more and more damage here, I put myself in a much better position. And that means that he's not going to be going for the same crazy risky plays that he was in game two. Oh, Ooh. he got that parry, but Link's low profile on the landing animation. He completely avoids the counter attack. But French Tutor is at 121% right now. This is his last what? stock. Ah. He's able to make it back, but oh my, so many projectiles. And you know that he once. actually... Ooh. He actually detonated the uh, the bomb because of arc fire too. Yeah, that was fantastic. Now, I, it's the sort of thing where I really relate to a French Tutor. When you have a super close game two that you lose, and then you start losing in game three, it's so hard to get your bearings again. Yeah, it's just, 